Will the Yellowstone volcano eruption happen in our lifetime? If the Yellowstone supervolcano erupts, North Dakota will see some serious effects from it. Our country is located in the primary ash zone. It is not as bad as the kill zone, but it will still damage and potentially kill many living things with the hot ashes. But according to the geologists in the national park, a supervolcano is not the most dangerous thing that can impact our human life. Scientists say the next supervolcano eruption could occur between 100,000 and a million years from now. But Yellowstone earthquakes are happening much more frequently and can impact far and wide, including in North Dakota. It occurs more often in national parks, about twice every century. The last major earthquake occurred in 1959, which had a magnitude of 7.3. But earthquakes have always rumbled in the region, even last month. The University of Utah seismograph station detected just 88 events during the month of July, said Mike Poland, Yellowstone Volcano Observatory scientist. The largest was 2.2, just north of Canyon Junction on date July 25. There was also one swarm of 12 earthquakes located just northeast of West Yellowstone that occurred during July 10 to 13. The largest, magnitude 1.5, is part of a band of seismicity that extends from Lake Hebgen to the north-central area of the park. Earthquakes in Yellowstone can cause hot springs to erupt and damage waterways. During severe earthquake shaking, large amounts of sediment can affect the water quality in our rivers. Geologists and scientists discuss possible eruptions and their consequences in the documentary Yellowstone Supervolcano. They expressed concern about Yellowstone being unpredictable because of its size and complexity. The magma chamber, located just below the caldera, is fed by a hot semi-molten plume that stretches for 465 miles. While the chamber is mostly solid rock, it has the potential to fully melt and push up against the surface of the earth. Currently, magma is believed to rise through the plume and into the magma chamber at a rate of about 2 inches per year. Scientists will be surprised when the plume begins to melt and move upward. The final eruption caused a 50-mile stretch of mountain range to collapse, ejecting 1,000 cubic kilometers of volcanic rock, ash and ash into the atmosphere. This ash covered most of the U.S., reached the Pacific Ocean, and even reached the Gulf of Mexico, 2,000 miles away. Despite the worries, Yellowstone shows no signs of an imminent eruption. Intense seismic activity throughout the park would be the first indicator, followed by earthquakes or cracks in the rock above the magma chamber weeks or months later. While the worst-case scenario possibilities exist, minor eruptions are far more common. However, it is certain that the Earth will experience a supervolcano eruption in the future, it's only a matter of time.